fun watch Trojan Pile. Welcome back to Codes Empire, my friends. So, you're probably wondering what we're doing today. Well, I've got a really cool video, kind of tutorial, and how to that we're gonna work on. So, sorry for a little bit of shakiness, kind of freehand in this right now. Um, so, what this is gonna involve, okay? You're gonna need some things here, and I'm gonna show you, okay? So, first thing. Okay, right here. Let me get, we're gonna get in on this and I'm gonna show you. Right there, okay. Some quick creep, uh, sand topping mix seems to work the best. Uh, you could use, uh, i trying to think here, you could use, if you wanted to use a mortar, mi mortar mix, that would work too. I know, you're going, why do we want that? Okay. Remember, we're working on scale stuff here. So, this is why I'm thinking this stuff, not concrete, and I'll show you why, okay? So let's go take a look. Part number two. Sorry for the mess in the background. Just working along here, been plugging along at some things. So, our second ingredient. River rocks, okay? You can look at these, you can see how these are, okay? River rocks, okay? See? You'll need some river rocks. I know, it's getting interesting, isn't it? Okay, now, here comes the interesting stuff. Number three uh. ingredient, some old, Tires. Doesn't matter what they are. Just some old scale tires. I'm using some 1.9 uh, flat iron tires. They're pretty worn out, you can see. Got a handful of them. See? Right here. Ah, see, it's starting to come together. So you're kind of now, you're starting to kind of go, oh, kind of have a little idea. So we're getting there, we're getting close. Number four ingredient, okay? Now, you have, I mean, you could make some yourself if you want, but to me, in my opinion, probably the best place to go is Bad RC Graphics, okay? I'll put a link down below. You go check him out. All this other stuff, you know, you can get at your local hardware store, minus if you have some old beat up uh, scale tires, you know, I happen to have a buddy of mine who donated them to me and hooked me up with some. Now, Bad RC Graphics, okay? You gotta go to him, cause he does the this next part I'm about to show you. Okay, hang tight there. Hang tight, I know, I know, you're getting excited. Okay. Here comes the next ingredient. Bad RC graphics, my friends, right there. Okay, scale signs. That's right, he makes these really, really cool. I like them, right? Falling rocks, of course I live in a place that you get to see those signs. You know, some of you might not, but we actually have these up different canyons, okay? Of course, bridge ahead, I'm sure everybody's seen those, okay? So, that's the next ingredient. Yeah, it's starting to come together, isn't it? You guys excited? You wanted to see? You want to see what we're working on? Then we'll show you how to make them all come together and how to do this. Okay? So bad RC graphics for these cool signs. Okay? Now we're gonna get down, and I'm gonna show you what we're working on. That's right, my friends. See those cool signs we've been making? And you can see. There, we've got the 
cement and or the type of concrete mix that we need or like I said you could use mortar mix okay scale tires and the sign poked in them pretty cool right so these are still drying but you get the idea okay really cool huh I like that got a couple helpers here bugs and body <laughs> okay like I said We've got some more tires and four more signs to work on. And you can see we've got something to mix with. This will also help us get everything put into the tire. This will help, you know, you, you can use anything will help us push in the cement into the tire. And then something to mix up small amounts. Because I'll be honest, you probably don't want to mix up a ton at one time. It takes a little bit of time to put these together, okay? So as you're doing this, you know, you don't want to have a whole bunch mixed up and let it start to harden on you, okay? So mix up small amounts at a time, mix it up, put it in the tires. We're going to show you how to do all that. Okay. Um, other than that, really, it's real simple, fun, and neat project. And will this will allow you to bring your signs with you wherever you go. Okay. So that's kind of cool, and allow you to place them anywhere you want to place them. So it'll make for some fun and adventurous stuff. So I guess, are you guys ready to help me out? Yeah. Okay. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this put together and we'll show you how to do it. Okay? Okay, my friends. One other quick tip. Um, also, when you're getting ready to do this, make sure you have a nice something that you can pick up and you can move after you're done because if you try to pick these up with the cement in them still wet the cement of course will fall through so we've placed ours on a piece of plywood for the meantime until they completely set up that way we can pick them up we can move them and when we're done uh, we'll be able to go ahead and they'll peel right off and be fine and ready to use so let's get in on this so basically, with the river rocks, and I'll have bugs kind of show you here, okay? So what we'll do is we'll place, you know, depending on the size of them, you know, you've got some of these nicer ones. You can put four of these nicer ones in or several smaller ones. It's up to you. Um, so bugs, go ahead and put four of them in, in the four, four corners. So basically, you'll just put them in on all four corners kind of just to space them out adds a little extra weight we've got our mixing container something to mix with a trowel this one you know it's for you know mortar using for concrete purposes we've got our mixture in a bucket over here and you can see I'm just using a little uh, garden shovel. I'm just gonna put a nice scoop in there. Um, it really depends how much you wanna mix at one time. Um, I do enough, usually this will get me through about a tire and a half or so. Um, so I'm gonna mix up about that much. And then, final ingredient, water. So when you do this, it doesn't take a lot of water, okay? And for anybody who's mixed concrete or anything in, you know this and you understand that. Okay guys, now hopefully you can see down in there a bit. But you can see how it's kind of nice lumping together and has a kind of almost a smooth kind of texture to it when I sit there and I kind of scoot it a little bit. 
that's about perfect. That's at least for this application, okay? So, all we're gonna do, here you go, Bugs, because I'm gonna have Bugs push, them, push it in after I scoop some in. So what we'll do, because once you get the tire filled, okay, you want it in its spot, because as soon as we start putting it in, it'll go down onto the board automatically, and then we're just gonna push it into the inside of the tire, so that way it kind of holds itself in place, okay? So we'll just kind of pick this spot right here, and we'll go to town. So you just kind of plop it on in there. Sorry, I'll try not to be in the way of the camera too much. So really, that's all you. That's all you're doing. You're just kind of stuffing the tire, and you don't have to get this perfectly full or anything like that. You're just trying to get enough in there so it'll keep in, so it'll stay inside the tire, and it's not going to flop out on you. But at the same time, you'll add just enough extra weight with the rocks. Are the rocks necessarily? No, I don't think you need them, but they help. Go ahead and push some of that in there. Okay, now the cool thing about any cement work or anything, is for anybody who's done it, basically as you kind of bump it and rub it, it brings that extra moisture up and allows it to kind of settle off and makes it have a nice smooth look. Now, for the final touch, here we go. So we're gonna put this sign right on in there, right in the middle it all the way down and then we're just gonna kind of just level it by eye if you want to get technical you can I'm not too worried because it's gonna be on a crawler course and then I'm just gonna lightly tap all this around so it nicely smooths that in and I'm just gonna eyeball this and make sure it looks pretty level overall what do you think bugs think it looks good I think it looks perfect. That's it, my friends. Pretty simple. Um, I guess my other helper fell asleep back there. <laughs> oh well. So me and Bugs will finish this up. And you can see with what we mixed up, it barely left a little bit left. But like I said, um, you have a short amount of work time with any cement or concrete or mortar mix. So you don't want to mix a ton at one time because it does start uh, setting up pretty fast, okay? Yes, you can add a little bit of water, but adding water does weaken it, causes it to make it more brittle after it sets up and hardens. So um, we'll play with it a little bit more, get it into the next set of tires, and we'll get this finished up and we'll be done. But that's how to make your own uh, sign holders, basically, for your scale signs. So kind of cool, huh, Bugs? So you give them a thumbs up. So thanks for watching Codes Empire, my friends. Bye. See ya. Bye.